Today's video, we're going to be highlighting the Nickel Double Mug. Nickel Double Mug is in a lot of playbooks, so you're going to probably be able to have uh, this defense within your playbook, and it's really good for simple pressure, simple coverage, and really just kind of making a lot of plays with your users. So we're going to be doing this out of uh, the Alabama defense, and we're using Alabama in the road to college football 25 playoff here, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Also, we're going to be using a little bunch tight end in this game just uh, just because I do think Alabama actually does have a really good uh, bunch tight end. So we'll see uh, kind of how this goes. We're going to go cover zero shell. We're going to be basing out of this cover three sky. So the base defensive look here is we're going to hard flat both of these guys. And we did not get our adjustments off, but we switch stick. We switch stick. That's like terrible. And we get oh, – please let me catch the ball. Now, we are playing the Buckeyes. I'm not going to lie. I really don't like playing Ohio State. I'm not a big fan of Ohio State. And Ohio State has the best uh, running back in the game. So, there's that. I'm just going to put this guy on a hook curl. See what happens. That did not work. Okay. We do not want to ever do that again. All right. Cover three, Sky. Um, let me see if I can put... Where's my guy at? Robinson. And Rusaw. That's who we want in there. All right. All right. There we go. Got our setup in finally. This is kind of the basic coverage that I like to play. If I want to play coverage, this is pretty much what I'm going to do. And then we're just going to go to town switch stick, people. Let me catch that. That's a little switch stick lurk. Very good. More early. Can we get out of there? And I just feel like... <laughs> Some people just should never be able to be on the field. And more might be him. He just could not get it done for us. All right. So we have some absolute nukes in this play in this playbook this year. Uh, or in this formation this year. So this is going to be fun. So bunch tight end is really good because it's basically just compressed trip tight end. Right? The three receivers are just in tight here. What makes it so good also is you have a lot of ways to bomb coverage uh, because of what I just said. So... Like, if I want to do a little cover three bomb here, it's really not difficult. Just put a post and a streak. We'll kind of see the coverage. He goes out and now he's on cover two. The reason this is also really good against cover two, though, is because it's compressed. That deep half will never get over there. He'll never go play it. So it's like the best components of bunch and the best components of trips built into one offense, uh, which makes it super, super effective, especially if you want big plays. Uh, it's a big, hit, big hitter offense, kind of a – you know, super nuke offense. It has a bunch of bombs. It has ways to get over the top on pretty much every side of the field, which is also really cool. Now, I wish I could learn how to do this little this little scum kick everybody's doing. Let's try that. Let's try that. Let's just let's see. Just one time, please. I feel like I kick it and people are about to score. All right, back on D. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think how I could get a little bit easier to adjust out of this. I really – I almost think cover three or adjusting out of cover two might be better. But let's just do this. There we go. A little run. Now, this running back's insane. He doesn't even have the right guy in. He doesn't even have the right guy in. Very good. Very good. We don't want to play him. We don't want to play him. We don't want to – we would rather play this Henderson, dude. Please give the ball to Henderson. Every time. Every time you give the ball to Henderson. It's a great decision for you and a great decision for me. All right, here we go. This is the D right here. Son of a gun. All right, we got a little, we got lasered there. We got lasered there, I'm not going to lie. So the key with switch sticking is you're really, you've got to identify, like, what are the actual routes that can beat you. What I make the mistake of is I assume people are running corner routes every time, and oftentimes they really don't. a little spy here oh yeah that's mine very good there's more again that's his second pick of the game can he get out of there nope he's just not fast enough he's a great coverage player but he just can't at the end of the day he just can't get it done as a as a uh, as a as a um, return man all right let's go triple out triple out is kind of a is a really cool play we get this corner route it's gonna go about 50 yards down the field or just throw a streak out there. That should be all we need. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I almost lied. I almost used or caught that. 
All right, we need something different than that. That did not work. Crow flag corner is not really the play I want. Inside switch. This inside switch is really cool. This Z out looks crazy. Let's try this Z out play. Look at these routes. Like, look at this route. I'm going to throw a little, throw a little sharp corner in it, too. Oh, no. I threw the ball to him. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. That's why you don't just – ah, that's why you go practice your plays. I, sh I was thinking that this that could be a potential cover four bomb, but shouldn't have called that. Should not have done that. Don't do this at home. All right, here we go. Let's bring this guy down, bring this guy down. That's what that's what coverage I like because it, it defends the middle of the field well. Like, you've got to be able to defend these seam streaks. That's, like, the most important thing. And then just forces them to kind of have stuff underneath more for his third pick of the game. And that stupid cornerback – just decided to throw his hand out there and just swat the ball. All right, I think it might be time to send the goons. I think it might be time to send the goons. All right, we're going to send the goons here. The way I like to do this is just shade down. Over three. Very good. Third and 13. I thought Bama would be a little better with this scheme, to be honest. They're really not doing what I thought they would do. Let's try it again. Third and 13, though, we do have them in a good situation. We have, gotten, we have, gotten, we have played good defense, but... I just feel like we're not really doing much. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, he might just be blocking people. Very good. There's a sack. There's a little covered shack. Covered shack. All right, I need to get over here. I need to get over here. Find a little max coverage D. Very good. There he is, Brown, making up for his earlier blunder. Hopefully, he didn't give us a safety right there. All right, we have the perfect play for this. This play is a. This play is actually, like this trio. Was it the trio? No, it was the trips. This trips halfback direct snap is insane. Like I, I don't know if you can stop this halfback direct snap for a loss of a yard. Like it might be the best short yardage play in college football twenty five. <laughs> just perfect blocking. We're out of there. <laughs> Miller. We might just run that all drive this game and just milk that clock. Take the whole quarter. Take the whole quarter. This direct snap is insanely good. It's also really good against like the three through five penny meta blitz. <laughs> they just hold their blocks so well out of this. Dual threat. I'm a dual threat, boys. You got to be worried about me both ways. All right, here we go. Bunch. Let's get in that. Let's get in that verts. I really want this streak to be good out of this verticals play. There's so much you can do with bunch tight end though. They have some cool routes. They've not like that you've never seen before. All right, verts. I'm gonna run this just for fun. Swing motion. Thank you. Looking for triangle on this fade. Motion fade. Not really there. Mill row back across his body. Just perfect accuracy. Third and five. Plays kind of bagging right here. I'll go to one of my favorite plays. It's not fancy. It's nothing fancy. It's actually really simple. But this play is so, so good in this game. Got a little slant post. And then I got my tight end corner. Very good. Easy reads. All right, now we're going to go no huddle. Hit him with triple out. Okay, so my favorite way to run this triple out play, this is a new setup this year that I like. It's actually a new route, too. You can put this outside receiver on a speed out. And the game glitched. I don't know why it did. So you see how you can put him on a speed out, and then you're just going to stem this about there. Let's see how this works. Oh, yeah, that's a dude. <laughs> oh, that's a touchdown. That was right there. Oh, my goodness. This whips play is also – I heard this whips play is really good against man coverage. Yeah, this bunch tied in is kind of cool, not going to lie. Okay, all right, this is the perfect time for triple out. We just need to block. Like, we just need to block, boys. 
All right, so what you do, you motion this guy out, put him on the speed out. The reason I like the speed out is because it beats man. And then we're going streak. Max Pro. We got the streak. And it's absolutely nukes. And, of course, we overthrow it by a mile. Oh, the overthrows. Tough scene. All right, let's get in whips. Let's, let's, let's hit him with that whip. So we have this wild whip route from triangle. Uh, or no, is it cir it's circle we are doing this. And then we got this super sharp corner. Let's see how this works out. Bro, I'm getting hummed. Out. I do these. I guess I'm backing up too much. I guess I'm just, I guess I'm just guilty of, of backing up too much. Fourth and ten. Not ideal for us here. Going to have to go to a high percentage play. And I think that high percentage play is going to be verticals. And I think we're going to take the tight end. Can I slant him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to slant him. Oh, no. Look at this. What the heck? All right. Let's go to the instant replay here. He sends four. Does absolutely nothing. That dude just instant sheds. Ohio State might be the best college football team in college football 25. That's insane. All right, let's get back, play some D. We've been playing some D, though. We're good. All right, I'm going to stand right here now. Let's try this. Give me the ball. Oh, no. He – Oh my gosh. Yeah, sometimes you win and sometimes that happens. That is a very tough scene. Just take him away. Yeah, he's not even using the good running back. I can't believe that just happened to me. Right, let's go cut one hole. I'm going to change things up on him. We're going to change things up on him, boys. We're going to change things up on him. Scream. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, we sent everybody right there. That was a key play for the defense. Defense is out here just low, like just bagging him, just absolutely caging him. Nickel 3-3 three, three, double mug. Pinch defense crash down. Blitz linebackers. Bada bing, bada boom. Hard flat both the ends. Yellow zone, yellow zone. Get as many yellow zones on the field, boys. Here we go. Trey Moore, dude, that is not a good read. That was like literally <laughs> one in a bajillion catches. That's got to be a pick right there. I hope he goes for two. I can't believe he scored on that. Boys, we just got to be better at the end of the day. Sometimes the Buckeyes just get on the field and start just making reads like that. That is the definition that is the definition of thread the needle. Look at this play. I feel like this is great defense. I switch stick on there. Look at this. Oh, he's right there. Look at that. I should have just swatted it. Oh well. Let's go score. We got a buck twenty four. Offense has been terrible this game. So we gotta make up for it. We're gonna go for a bomb first play. We're gonna go for a bomb first play. We want the defense on the field. We want the defense on the field against C L E Ryan. Here we go. I got my man Law. We're just going to fair catch that. We don't need to risk anything. You know, we'll keep everything going for us. Go bunch tied in. Let's get that Verge delay play out there. And we got triple out. Triple out is low key a beam against cover four. It's an absolute nuke. I'll have to show you that if he, if I can throw the ball. It'd be great. It'd be great. This is an absolute beam against cover Cover two and cover four. It's probably really good against cover three, too. Oh, let's see if we get it, boys. There we go. Watch him just see how he just kind of falls down for just a second. And then, bang. And that was the funny, the crazy part about that, guys. That was in the middle of the field. If there's one thing we know about the Alabama playbook, it is that they have probably one of the better red zones in the entire game. A lot of things we can do in the red zone here. Let's go with that wheel route to the running back. Kind of clear out some space for us. Get out of there. We're just going to run a little meal row. 
put the team on his back. Put the team on his back. One of my favorite formation in the game. F twins over, jet quarterback counter on one on one. We got Dupree here and Miller. If we definitely need to get a yard, though, you always have that little running back direct snap. But Milrow puts the team on his back, and he takes it in for six. Now we're going to go. You're going to set him up there. We hit him with the with the quarterback counter, and now we're going to hit him with the running back direct. The running back direct snap, one of the best glitch runs in college football 25. And you're going to see it right here. Let's see if we can get it. We got Milrow at the helm. Look at him just powering across the line, showing his grit. Imagine imagine if we were smart enough to put an RPO on our audibles, but we weren't. So we're just going to run the ball. Direct snap. And we lost. <laughs> I should have stayed left. I should have stayed left, boys. Well, that did not go as intended. But let's see if our defense can get a stop because I really think our defense can get a stop. All right, here we go. Let's pooch, pooch. No, I need it to drop a little faster. Yeah, I just can't get that kick, boys. I just cannot get that kick. All right, nickel double mug. Here we go. This is where the defense needs to shine. All right, we got. I got here. Oh, no, I switched it. <laughs> That's so. He throws right at you. Mr. Ryan, he loves to throw right at you. All right, we're going to have to play a little better defense. We're going to have to play a little better defense, boys. Here we go. All right, hard flat, hard flat, vert hook. Boom. Oh, he was throwing right to me. Yeah, switch stick takes some adjustments, but I tell you, man, switch stick is like an it's like a it's like a big big floor. Like it takes you have to be decent. Like you have to really kind of put in some time to get what I would consider like decent at switch sticking. But then, like, you could get infinitely better. Like, I feel like switch stick is the kind of thing that you'll literally never master. And whoever does master it is really going to be good. There it is. As I'm talking about switch stick, we get the user pick with my boy Caught. And Caught is going to put the team on his back and put his team in a position to go up two possessions before halftime. Let's get out here in the bunch tight end. This is where we take our shot, boys. This is where we take our shot, boys. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just call it. Let's go. Call man, call man, call man. He called man. He called man. It's a touchdown. It's a touchdown. There it is. Prentice. Reservation for six. In the end zone, boys. Let's get it. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to go speed option here. Trio halfback week speed option with Milrow. See what we can do. See if we can pound this rock into the touchdown. Get that two-point conversion. Make that up. Get a nice, clean 14-point lead. Going into halftime, let's see if we can get it done, boys. All right, here we go. Bama. Got this RPO bubble. It looks kind of like a W. All right, here we go. Pitch it out there. Miller, can he cut it up and get it done? He got it done for us. Touchdown or two-point down, whatever you want to call it. Let me get a mick pick two, whatever you want to call what just happened. We got it in. Now let's see if we can pooch. Can we pooch? Can we pooch? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's down. That's dropping. That's dropping. Very good. Oh, no. I need that to stop. All right, that's fine. Nickel double mug, boys. I wish I could get my adjustments where it's a little easier to set this up. I just feel like I can't. Let's go cover through sky. That's me. That's me. That's Jackson. That's Jackson. That's another pick. I think the defense literally got four picks this game. All right, we're going to try to bomb him. We're going to try to bomb him, boys. We're going to go versus delay. He is showing that cover two shell. That's what we want. That's what we want. This should be a bomb. Let's see if we get it. No. We don't. We don't. We don't. Check down. Very good. All right, we got six seconds. More than likely, more than likely here, we're going to get cover four. So my play against cover four is this PA verticals. Love this play. We're going to go with a little streak. We're going to shade this down. And then we're going to go with a dig. Thank 
take our dig route here. Didn't quite work out. <laughs> That's all right. Pretty decent performance in the first half. Milro threw for 200. We got a couple picks. Played pretty good defense, I'd say. The one touchdown he did get, I didn't feel like it was a super good read. Uh, we'll see if how this second half goes for us. Let's see if the Bama can keep their foot on the gas pedal here in the second half. All right, boys, I got a question for you as we're kind of kicking off here. I totally was lost. Are you a Dr. Pepper or are you a Coke person? Are you a Dr. Pepper or a Coke person? I guess they're made by the same people. If, like, if you had to choose Dr. Pepper or Coke, and that includes the zeros, like Dr. Pepper is zero or Coke zero. All right, all right, he's going, man. This is, this is, in my opinion, like what makes this play so good is you can do stuff like this against man coverage. Watch this. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. I need him to not shed me instantly, and we can show you what I'm talking about. This verticals play is so good against man, though. Like, just drag the tight end. If you want to put the running back on a route, you can. I'd probably just block him, honestly. And just, let's, just, let's just ball. Let's just make a read. Let's just make a read. There it is, Bernard. Crosser. Easy reads, easy reads, easy reads, easy reads. I want to know how to get over the top against this cover two man, though. Cover two man is kind of probably the best, safest coverage. It's probably the safest coverage in this game. Just a quick hike. Let's just get up and go. Let's just get up and go. Yeah. Okay, I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea, actually, what I want to do with this play. Bird's delay. You definitely want to go with a tight end drag underneath. You can put your running back on whatever you want. Literally whatever you want. Let me flip the play here. Let's go tight end drag. Let's go, let's go with a post, though. Instead of this crosser, I don't like this crosser. Let's go with the post. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> that was a touchdown. Also, yeah, you definitely can I, I can't stem the route, can I? No, I can't. All right, let's go post. Let's go that, and then let's go block. Oh, yeah. Very good against cover zero. Very good. Got a reservation with six in the end zone. Let's get it. Yeah, Bunstein in is very explosive. Like, very explosive. Don't really like that place. Let's go QB. Uh, let's go QB zone. I think QB zone's a really good two-point play. Maybe not against a look like this, though. You know what? We'll still run it. We'll still run the QB zone. Here we go. Milro. Get outside. Very good. Reservation for two. He's got dinner for two in the end zone. All right, let's try this again. We're going to get this kick. I promise you we're going to figure this out. Oh, I just can't get it, man. I just cannot get this kick to work for me. I don't know how to do it, boys. <laughs> At least yet. All right, let's play some D. Let's play some D. Cover three sky, nickel double mugs, all you need to be successful. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the only problem is they just, like, put these dudes in random positions. I'd almost rather be – I don't know if cover one hole is better, honestly. I might I might just start doing another cover one hole. That's really good D. Yes, sir. Jackson. Take it back, boy. Take it back, boy. Put the team on your back. Damani Jackson with a pick six. Let's go speed option out of the split twins. We got some other stuff, too. We got this RPO alert swing. I love this play. In case you ever need anything in the end zone here. Great little red zone scheme. Super hard to guard. As soon as, of course, I say that. That guy just made the best play I've ever seen against it. All right, let's go, like, all the way to the left. Let's 
give a little more. Let's try this. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, boys. Wait, that was close. That was closer. Maybe I'm just giving it too much sauce. I don't know. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go cover. Let's go mid blitz and just see kind of what things look like here. Well, that did not work. Yeah, I don't like how that looks. More with his third, fourth pick. I don't know. They stopped counting. They stopped counting. Take it to the crib, more. Take it to the crib. Malachi Moore putting the team on his back. All right, let's see what we can do. Jet touch pass. If you didn't know, calling a jet touch pass on the red zone is probably the smartest thing you can do. It's so hard to guard these jet touch passes down here because you can just get to the edge, and then you can juke inside like that. And we're hanging up some points on this brother. Alabama. All right, let's try this. That's probably too. Ah, it's just probably too little power. Look how, mmm, just cannot figure it out, boys. Just cannot. I'm not. I've never been good on special teams. I've never been good on special teams. I'm just not a special teams guy. All right, let's go. I don't know what he just called. I don't know what he just called. All right, let's just do this. Got him. There's a screamer. That blitz hummed. That blitz hummed, boys. Give me the ball. That's what that's exactly like you have to be ready for that stuff. That's the seams pass. I think Malachi Moore literally just has five picks. That's his fifth pick of the game. This guy's got so much heart on the other other side, though. Ryan, you gotta give you gotta give these Cleveland guys some credit. Like they have some heart. Like they have a heart for losing. They really do. There he goes, Milrow, for two, and there it is, boys. And there it is. Thirty six seconds here in the third, and you're seeing this nickel double mug just. Go to town. Go to absolute town. It'd be great if that ball would just, like, not get caught like that. I don't know why it's doing that. It's supposed to not get caught, but as we've seen, the entire game, it gets caught a lot. All right, here we go. Got trio. Oh, whoa. Oh, no. He's out of there. Strip him. Close. All right, all right, all right. Oh, that's me. Let's go, Jackson. Oh no, I gotta catch that. I hit trying. I hit. I hit the catch button. All right, he wants to do this. We're gonna get in this. Good read. Good read. I didn't know if he could throw that on the outside third. Oh. <laughs> this dude just, just chucks it. He just chucks it. Oh, my goodness, man. He just chucks it. Like, I'm right there. I am standing there. Give me the ball. All right, that's going to start up the fourth quarter in a tight matchup here, 51-7. to seven. Really close game for my man Ryan. We'll see if we can uh, see if we can hold the door, though, here. All right, we're going to go nickel double mug. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Very good. Good good drive. Good drive from my brother there. Let's see if he uh, goes for two, but he doesn't. He's going to play a fundamentally sound game. Actually, I lied. He's going to fake it and shuck it and almost throw another pick two. Should be onside kick here, yeah? Let's see how this goes. I've seen some onside kicks get recovered. I have seen some onside kicks get recovered so far. Here we go. Flag on the play. And we're going to just accept that up. Get back in our bunch tied in and just keep rolling. Just keep the train rolling. I got to I got to figure out how to be able to throw this like this fade on the on the on the right. I feel like this this could potentially just kill. Let's see if this corner's good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know what zone that was. I objectively I have no idea what zone that was. So this setup is also good cuz you can attack that right side but then you keep your deep your deep attacks. So it's like a high low. I kind of I think I'm going to like kind of high low on one side basically with switch stick it just really changes how defense is going to be played. Oh yeah, that's open. Go get it. Go get the ball. Oh no. <sighs> I just lost. He might win the fourth quarter. He might win the fourth quarter. We got to play some defense here. Cover three sky. Back in that nickel double mug. Defending that five wide receiver trio. Okay. There we go. No good, no good. Screen. Somehow that screen was way more open than I thought it would be. Somehow that screen was way, 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 way more. Okay, so what we want to do, someone does that, is we're just going to blitz them. My man caught. Out here just bagging. Good read, good read. Go a little more under, a little more aggressive underneath coverage. Let's see if this plays this, what he's been doing. I need that to be a fumble. I need that to be a fumble. I need there to be a consequence for juking right into a head stick. Come on now. All right, here we go. Uh, that's such a bad defense by me. <laughs> he scored. I can't believe he scored. And I can't believe I played that defense, and I can't believe a lot of what just happened, actually. All right, we're going hard flats everywhere. We've got 7-6. Throw the ball. Give me the ball. No. All right. Go base on side recovery here. All right, we're going to have to close this one down, boys. We're going have to have to give him the old halfback direct snap treatment and just get out of this game because he's out here just just, just seaming me up, throwing lasers. We can't have that on the resume. So we're going to have to wind this one down. We know nobody can stop this run. This is the glitchiest run in college football 25. Halfback direct snap. All you do is hike the ball. And you just run straight. And as you see, you get an immediate one yard every single time. And it does appear like he is going to <laughs> stay in his defense. I wonder how the off tackle is on this. This is such a fast snap. Oh, yeah, that's it. There, there it is. And that's what you're looking for, boys, right there. Look at that direct snap. Just go insane. <laughs> Dude, this direct snap's insane, boys. It is insane. All right, here we go. Going to hit him with that direct snap again. Keep that clock ticking. Juke outside. Turn it into a sweep. <laughs> Jam Miller, that's his name. That is his name. I guess there's no way to... Is there no way to chew? Can I chew? Oh, yeah, I can. There we go. Let's do a chew clock, try to kind of expedite this game. 
But, boys, Alabama's really good. The nickel double mug, as you see, I mean, a ton of interceptions. Didn't play the greatest at the towards the end of this, but in general, uh, it was a really good scheme. If you guys want to check out my full defensive ebook or defensive breakdown of that in our school community, it's only $10 to become a member. It also gets you access to everything on there. So it gets you literally every ebook uh, you get as we fumble and give them the ball back for some Hail Mary attempts. I can't believe I just fumbled. <laughs> All right, let's play some D. All right, that's not good. That's not good. Let him. <laughs> I wanted him to try to run again. I wanted to hit him. Oh, we're out here, boys. We are just out here. We're just out here at this point. We are just out here for the passion of the game, for the love of the game. Oh, give me the ball. I'm going to swat, actually. I probably could have caught that, actually. I just wanted to swat because I was kind of scared. He looked like he did have a little bit of a step on me. But All right, here we go. Let's go with a little, and yeah, that's, that's the that's the downside of switch sticks. Sometimes you'll accidentally switch stick onto like a safety or a corner like that that's in deep blue, and they just for whatever reason like you just you just can't do that because they do like these lobs, and if they lob it right when you switch on them, there's like a delay, and then you obviously give up the points or just give up the give up the big play. All right, here we go. This should be pretty decent. Take that away. He threw that again. <laughs> we, that's like our third pick on him throwing that route right there. That one route right there we've picked, I think, three times. All right, and he's going to get out of here. He really fought. But at the end of the day, we got it done. We squeezed out the win. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys want to check out all the rest of my College Football 25 ebooks, all of that stuff is in the school community. Link is in the description below.